Let's take a look at uh, linear equations finding a slope. Now we're going to do this with a calculator. Now it might be questionable, it's like, well, why would you want to do that? It's pretty simple uh, normally anyway. Well, if you're uh, getting ready to introduce uh, modeling using the calculator, then this uh, would be a first step in that. And that's probably the only benefit to actually doing it on the calculator. Because it's definitely not easier. Okay, I'm press my on. And I'll clear out some stuff here. Okay, now we're going to input our our points into uh, Stat. So I press my Stat button, and I will go into Edit. Now you may or may not have numbers here. If you have numbers here, like for example, if I had um, these numbers, what we're going to do is uh, see how I got 8 highlighted? I just press my delete key and that will delete it out. And 6 is highlighted so I press delete and 3 is highlighted so I press delete. So that's how you can clean out numbers already there. Now um, sometimes people will screw this up and I know there's a shortcut way to clear out the list um, but I'm not going to show that. Sometimes people will have L1 highlighted instead and they'll press delete. And all of a sudden your, L, your L1 is gone. So you come back in here and you go to work uh, putting these into L1 and L2 and uh, you don't have L1. Well, to get L1 back, if you delete it by accident, you know, you come in here, go into Stat, go into Edit. It's like, well, okay, it's gone. What you do is you up arrow, you highlight L2, and then we're going to do a second delete the insert. Now, uh, don't press delete again. If you press delete again, you just deleted L2. Uh, so we did second delete the insert. It. Now I notice above you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it says L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, and L6. It's asking us for name here. So I'm going to do second one to put L1 down there. And then press enter. And that will put L1 back in your in your list. Just be real careful when you're deleting those so you don't, don't get rid of those. Okay. Now our first point is 8, 2. So I'll put 8 in L1. And I'll come over here and I'll put 2 in L2. So your L1 is going to be your X values, and your L2 will be your Y values. Okay, our next point, 14, 5. I'll put 14 in there, and then I'll come over to L2 and put 5 there. Okay, so we just put our, our points in there. Now I'm going to exit out, do second mode. Now you shouldn't have to do this um, just one time um, on, your, on your calculator, but we want to go into the catalog. So we'll do second zero and we want to download or download I want to down arrow to diagnostics on so you can keep pressing uh, down over and over probably the easiest way to get down to it okay diagnostics on there's also a shortcut way of uh, getting down there there we go since you're only going to do it one time you probably don't need to shortcut so now my little um uh, uh, arrow is next to diagnostics on so I'll press enter twice so enter and then enter again and you see it says done okay now you won't have to you don't do that each time you just do that one time okay so we just entered our points now I'm gonna do stat I'm gonna write arrow to calc and I want to choose linear regression so I want to choose the fourth one here now if I press enter on that and then press enter again the A is your um, slope. And so A is the slope. Now if you got it in uh, de decimal form like you see right here, to change that to a fraction, we're going to go to VARS, and then I'm going to go to um, Statistics, the fifth one, so I'll press 5, and then I want to go over to the right twice to the equation and you see I got A here so I'll down arrow highlight A press enter and then I'll do math enter enter and so then our slope is one half now you might be saying well I could I could easily spot 0.5 as one half I didn't need to do that well yeah but what if you have something more complex there um, then this uh, allows you to um, to get it in that manner. Anyway, that's how to find a slope on a T84 uh, plus calculator. Again, it's not easier, is it? 
Um, I didn't say it was going to be easier. This is uh, x1, y1, x2, y2. Remember our formula is m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we would have 5 minus 2 over 14 minus 8. 5 minus 2 is 3, 14 minus 8 is 6, and 3 6 is 1 half. A lot easier to do by hand, but again, if you're if you're getting ready to introduce um, modeling, um, linear modeling on a calculator, then this is kind of a, a first step.